one of my favorite programs to use is called ScreenFlow. And this is what I use to record all of my screencasts for this tutorial series and every tutorial series. I also use a Blue Yeti microphone with a pop filter. So if you're looking to do a recording or anything like that on this platform or any platform, I would, and if you have a Macintosh, I highly recommend ScreenFlow. So uh, version 4.0 is out in ScreenFlow and they have an option to do chroma key. So what we're going to do, we're going to go new empty document. We're going to go 1920 by 1080 because that's my, my footage, my size. And I'm going to just open up uh, my desktop and then I have my green screen folder right here so we will get um, let's get Jonathan and let's see what we can do with him so remember we always put the uh, green screen on the top and then we're going to just get some footage let's just see what this footage is right here Okay, New York City, we'll get him in New York City at night. And that footage was uh, gotten uh, from videoblocks.com. It's $99 to do um, a full membership. Ooh, that's a lot this big, it's at night with a fisheye lens. Okay, and then we will look at this uh, stock footage as well. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that's what I use, dancing around a disco light, so we'll use that as well. All right, so, so I see John here. And what I like about ScreenFlow, it's made for a video editor. So if you see this right here, I'm going to go ahead and and hit Add Video Action. And once I click on John right here, I see this button button come up. It says Chroma Key. Once I hit Chroma Key, I hit Add. Voila, voila, he is right on it. Okay, of course, there's no good chroma key unless you can do some adjustments to it. Let's turn down the audio right here. And then with ScreenFlow uh, 4.0, you can do adjustments as well. So we're going to click on uh, John. And then what we're going to do, scroll down here. And then I could do the white clip if I wanted to adjust and refine the key. You see what I'm doing right here? If I wanted, you know, if, if see, that's pure green. And then if I want to say, well, it's really more like this green. Or anything like that so you can also go in and refine the key doesn't have as many features as at After Effects or even I uh, Final Cut Pro or Premiere but it is really good uh, they did a really good job with chroma key with this uh, this program let us also go and um, click on this and then let's look again once we go here we can look at the tolerance level all right and uh, with uh, ScreenFlow, you can also use the JKL keys. Any of my video editors out there know how good that is, JKL, and then K to stop. Been wanting that for a long time. So that is that right there. Then I can go uh, straight to my export. I can publish to Vimeo, YouTube, or Flash. Uh, when I go right to YouTube now, I have unlisted, and I can put it right there, choose my uh, default, and then publish in 1080 or letterbox option and use closed captioning but that's for another tutorial for screen flow but I highly suggest you look at it um, it's a really good program it's cheap it's only uh, I think a hundred dollars at the time of this taping and uh, I think it's well worth it for you to do chroma key and some other uh, uh, things with it take care